We are tracking new developments tonight in the fight against the recent overdose epidemic here in Rhode Island. We've learned health officials are increasingly looking at alternative ways to treat pain as opposed to defaulting to opioid-based medication. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yukono heard today's discussion at the Rhode Island Department of Health. He joins us now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Launching a series of six discussions, Rhode Island's top health officials turning the conversation more to what they can do to stop an epidemic. Through charts and graphs, we saw what we already know about the trend of addiction in Rhode Island, epidemic proportions. The most recent numbers from the Department of Health, 142 overdose deaths this year, more than 1,000 uses of Narcan, and 250 people treated in emergency departments. Dr. Tracy Green, a professor of epidemiology at Brown University, explains treatment could be altered with more exploration, providing options other than opioid-based pain medication. In some instances, it might be medical marijuana. In some instances, it might be physical therapy, acupuncture, massage therapy, or chiropractic. As Green reviews numbers and trends, she says part of the solution will come with reorganizing care. Uh, emphasize education, how clinicians can talk to patients better, how they can use clinical tools that are evidence-based that are out there. Among those tools, a hotline of sorts for physicians for guidance when considering the best treatment to sometimes steer away from opioids. All the while working with people like Ian Knowles from Rhode Island Communities for Addiction Recovery Efforts, who says years ago those recovering from addiction would never have been invited to this discussion because of the stigma. The rise of the new recovery movement has generated a new source and feeling of advocacy among those of us in the recovery community. I asked the director of the Rhode Island Department of Health what happens after these discussions to put words into action. He says the resources are all in place. What's needed now is for all health care providers to get on board. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Brian Nicono, Eyewitness News.